everybody fears change. You know, the traditional media fears change. The banking industry fears change. When fit, change is happening so fast and it's not being driven by one entity, it's this broadly spread phenomena, it's scary because you don't feel in control. The idea is our monetary system and system of value is broken. The ownership and the monopolies that control a lot of this um, are something that most people have become uncomfortable with. And here we have a new world, this digital world that is distributed, that is that has less intermediaries. And it's a world where we can create endless GDP because you're not constrained by natural resources. So here we go in a new digital world where you can create digital sovereign states of which you can operate in as a Brazilian that has nothing to do with the Brazilian economy. And it's limitless. There's no boundary. So that's why it becomes the new universe. You know, I've been toying with the idea. I first started thinking about, can we earn a universal basic income in this new digital world. And we're seeing it in things like Axie Infinity, right? There's ways you can earn a living by working for a community and getting paid in tokens or, 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 or fiat. So that becomes interesting. So now you've got jobs. I mean, I've just hired an architect firm in crypto voxels who built the Real Vision headquarters. I paid them in ETH. On the right? metaverse. <laughs> yeah, in the metaverse. That's There is no, yeah, that that's a whole different thing. That didn't exist before. But what I'm getting really interested in is the concept of universal basic equity. So you like Rihanna and you want to be part of Rihanna's community. You identify with Rihanna as a pop star and the, the culture that's around her. And now you can own one day a token of that network. So now you're incentivized to help Rihanna's network grow. And with that, your token will go up in value. Metcalfe's law, that's how you price networks, the number of nodes on the network and the interconnection between them all. So everybody's now incentivized to help that network grow in value, i.e. to make Rihanna's community bigger and more vibrant. And just by being in culture, you have an asset that goes up. So now you're not having to go into an office and work for somebody. You're working for a cultural phenomena. And that as universal basic equity is amazing. Imagine if you tokenize that, now you're incentivized to grow the community of Brazilian, of one of, one of the leading Brazilian clubs. And you wanna make it international, you start making video content about it, you start, you're on Twitter, you're creating a more vibrant community and people can see that and they wanna be part of that community too. And therefore the value of that community appreciates. Now, maybe, you know, because it's like-minded people, a bunch of those token holders get together, create an NFT, and then create a business off the back of it, selling new footballs because somebody's come up with an idea. And before you know it, you're building network effect on top of network effect. And mm -hmm. that is extraordinary around culture. That was not possible before. Most well, people don't understand this because they haven't seen it. And they, they think it's not possible and it's not going to work. They just haven't seen it yet, but it's coming. I mean, I, I'm working on um, a project on this and I know several other people are. There's some small to, sm social token things. We're starting to see NFTs as social tokens developing as well. But I think this is, this is where the big consumer application is going to come from. You know, you're living and breathing the fact that people understand the culture you're trying to build and the message you, they want to be involved and they want to own your token. And then they go out and help you also spread the word. And guess what? The token value goes up. So now you've created an asset for people that did not exist by just being part of a movement. They haven't got a job. They're not working for you. They've got no employment contract, but they've got an asset that's going up. I mean, that's mm. genius.